Welcome to the fifth video on how to create an art quilt. At the end of the previous one, my quilt World Without Hunger was mostly painted, as you see on this slide. I only added a rose between two grapes. If I'm in doubt at this stage, the principle less is more helps. So I designed the final work. I will not use any additional embellishments, but I will create borders in the last video. To state the obvious, quilting means sewing at a minimum three layers of fabric together, which I do entirely by hand. Yes, it takes ages, but I prefer the result. So my three layers are the painted front, the cotton padding, and as a back I'll sew pinwheel patchwork. For this pinwheel I will use the sewing machine. Place two square pieces of fabric with their right sides touching each other together. In my case, the 30 inch outside will become half of the diagonal of the final pinwheel. So all four sides half an inch inside the square. Cut diagonally through the sewn square and optionally trim off extra fabric. You have now four pieces, each of two colors. Iron the seam to one side. Place the four pieces right side up how you will want them in the end. Fold one panel on top of the other, the right sides are touching again, and sew half an inch from the border. Repeat this for the next panel. Now you have two double squares, each sewn together out of four fabric triangles. Place one panel on top of the other, the right sides are touching. Confirm the precise center of your pinwheel. So half an inch from the border and your pinwheel is done. Because the green fabric is very stretchy, I iron fusing on the pinwheel to make it less flexible. Time to pin all three layers together, taking special care that the front and back center are lined up. For World Without Hunger, my middle padding is organic cotton, but often I use recycled material. As you see, I'm pinning the layers with safety pins to make the quilt portable. And then you go for the joy of quilting for many, many hours. Thanks for watching and happy quilting!